Fletch, The Sword of Love Striketh, Truths Revisited, January 25th, 2019. In this video, I reiterate certain points that need more attention from different angles. Love prevails if it's unconditional. What sword do you carry? Lots of truth points here. Enjoy. Firepower. New subs, welcome. Old subs, thanks for being around. And if you're just viewing, what's cracking? So, who had weird dreams last night? Today's Friday, so that will be Thursday night. Oh my god, did I have weird dreams last night? Still losing weight too, man. Damn, I can't stop losing weight. This is getting bad. What are you gonna do? I have no appetite. I don't know. I have a couple of messages today. I'm about to get picked up to go into work. So that's going to be any minute. So I'm going to try and probably do this in segments. What do I got today for you guys? I was driving in my truck before, picking up some stuff from the store for kids for the school, and I had a weird download. I was thinking of how people are basically like cars, right? So imagine if you're a car and you don't have the side view mirrors and the rear view mirror, and you're just driving forward. A lot of people are like that. It's not right or wrong, and I'm not judging, it's all love here. But imagine being a car with no mirrors, so you can't see what's to the side of you. You can't see what's behind you, right? In other words, you lack that perspective. Then there are people that have those mirrors, so their perspective is different than people that don't have mirrors. In other words, they operate from a different vibration because they have more ability to see. Get it? Now, imagine if you could be a car that's got all the mirrors, a camera on top, camera on the back, camera on the front. You have a heightened sense of seeing. Your perspective is even more crazy. The point, the moral of the story is that everybody's operating from their own perspective. Now your perspective is different than mine. Mine's different than this one, that one, whatever. Why is this important? Because your perspective is your reality. Your reality is how you see reality. So this is the thing. Everybody's got a different perspective. Some people have similar perspectives and then those people will be attracted to you. You know what I'm saying. Your vibration will match their vibration and then you guys will be part of a soul group, soul family, whatnot. And that's a good thing. Where problems arise is that everybody thinks their perspective is truth. That's when it gets tricky because you don't want to get stuck in like trying to prove your truth to someone because people can only operate from their vision, from their point of attraction, from their point of perspective. When you choose the path of unconditional love, that's a very different perspective than somebody's who's very negative and skeptical and very left brain. And to be unconditional love, you have to value and accept how they see things without judging them. And that can be tricky. One of the challenges of being unconditional love is accepting everybody for who they are. And that's a feat in of itself. You know Jesus said, forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. He knew his perspective. And what they were doing were two different things. But he had a mission. And... And he had to do what he had to do. So he had to be love. Love doesn't fight back. Love is unconditional. That means no conditions. He's not going to choose to stop what they're doing. Now that's a very high level and many people aren't going to understand it. Because of their conditions, they're going to think things like, maybe he shouldn't let that happen. Bah, bah, listen. Unconditional love has a mission to stop what was happening would have defeated the whole lesson. It would have defeated his whole mission, his whole point to show the world God-level love and human incarnation. You guys get that? Does it make sense or resonate? So listen, stop judging your friends, your parents, your husband, your wives, your kids, the teachers, whatever, coworkers, boss, it doesn't matter. Everybody is operating from where they're operating from you. Just gotta respect that and move forward. Wish them well, love the hell out of them and move forward.
that's it. There's no way around it. If we're going to choose the path of light warrior, light worker, truth bringer, whatever you want to call it, whatever path you're going to take, if you're going to hold a sword, it's got to be the sword of love. If you're going to hold the sword of love, it's not easy. What else did my boy Jesus say? If you live by the sword, you'll die by the sword, right? If you live from a negative vibration, you're going to attract those things. You live by it. You die by it. So listen, if you're going to carry a sword of love, that's better. But this is the thing. You don't fight. See, love doesn't fight. Now, you might have been conditioned to think that love does fight. But you know what? Love allows Love doesn't brag. Love is love. If you have love with conditions, it's automatically back to conditional love. It's not unconditional. See, this path is level 10 hard, but there's a lot of benefits to it because this is the thing. You've got to remember God is unconditional love and so are you. You're part of God. You just forgot, which leads me into my next lesson. Let me get it. Let me fine tune. Give a second. You live in the game of life. God said, I want to create life. I want beings to have life. I'm going to divide myself into infinity. Make everything me separated. What's the game? Now a game could have a negative connotation. It's not a negative game. But in order for you to have life, free will, and choice, everything has to exist, which creates the duality thing. There can't be love without hate, can't be light without dark. Remember that darkness is not there to trap you and test you, but it will feel like that. It's there as a vibration. If you go into a low vibration, you're going to attract that. It's you versus you. All right, listen, life doesn't come with a manual, right? The closest thing we have to a manual is things like the Bible, things like the Emerald Tablets. There are hints there, but you're not born and given that. You might grow up in a household like that, but again, you're operating through the perspective of your family, which is their perspective of the truth. It's not necessarily the truth, so you want to call it the mystery of life. You can call it that, okay? Now, if you're born and you're told exactly how everything is, it's kind of fucking boring. What's the point of life? Part of the life experience is figuring this out. That mystery, that game, look at it as a positive thing. That's why you're always seeking the light, because you are the light. But your memory is wiped when you come here. You can't remember exactly how it goes. So how you think it goes is what you learn from other people. But that's their perspective. But your perspective and their perspectives are different. You have to fine tune. You have to seek. You have to fast. You have to figure it out now. You're going to have dreams. You're going to get clues. You're going to get hints your whole lifetime. Some people never get the hint. They operate in that low vibration and they say things like, God isn't real. I'm an atheist. F this, F that. I hate the world. And then they operate from that perspective. What does law of attraction do? The law of attraction is like, all right, give him what he wants. That's what he believes. Give her what she wants. That's what she believes. So no matter what you believe, the law of attraction has always proven you right then you think you're right because the law of attraction exists to attract things to and like your mentality and what you focus on. So whether you focus good, you get that attraction. Whether you focus bad, you get that attraction. While that's going on, there is a universal one truth. So you're operating on the universal laws, right? Listen, people like to play video games because it's a challenge. And when you beat the game, you feel fulfillment. If you're born knowing how to beat life, there's no point to life. Get it? Think about it. 
If you're born and told all the answers, what's the point? What does it come down to? What's the point of the point I'm trying to make? Life's about being fulfilled. You want to live a life that's fulfilling and that makes you happy. No matter what that means to you, it's different for everybody. Everyone's coming from a different point of perspective. Get it? If you're taking a test to get a certification and you have all the answers, there's something missing there. If you just get a hundred because you have all the answers, you didn't really earn it. See this fluffy hair? I don't even care. <laughs> if you just get all the answers out of the gate, the whole mystery and the whole unfoldment of who you are doesn't exist and then life is no fun. It's just a bunch of bullshit. What's the point of all this? You got to see it as fun. You got to see it as a game. You've got to become love, operate from that perspective. The challenges that arise from that are there to grow you. Love that. Know that the shadows exist as contrast to the light. Love that. And once you do that and your shadows dissipate and you unlock and your ego gets broken, you become one with God. You become one with God. Life becomes very magical. You start to have crazy dreams. Synchronicities enhance. Everything enhances. You guys understand what I'm saying? I might have to watch this video a couple of times because I talk fast. I'm getting downloads as I speak. That's why I call it ping pong. I say I'm going to ping pong because it's coming in. I let it out. I might change directions, but you guys hear what I'm saying. If you hear what I'm saying, put it in the comment section. Life's a game. Life's a game of growth. Life is a game of remembering who you are. Who you are is a fractal of I am. But you get your memory wiped. You got to figure it out and in doing so, grow who you are. We're all not clones. We all look different. We all have different personalities. We are individual sparks of the divine. You're growing your soul and spirit. Your spirit that chose a human incarnation just like Jesus, just like the greats that walked the planet. Your past is irrelevant. Your future is irrelevant. Just live in the now. Create now. You co-create with the great I am. You're under universal laws. Use them wisely. All right, listen. I'm here as a beacon. I'm here as a warrior. I'm here as a lion. I'm here to be the fire that melts your shadows. That's what I'm here for. Everybody I meet, I want to help in any way, shape, or form. Whether it's advice, whether it's encouragement, whether it's straight up truth, depends on what you attract from me. My goal, you guys know, is to become unconditional love. It's not easy. In doing so, I'm losing my whole life. I'm losing my whole life. You know that song, Losing My Religion? That's what it is. I am losing my religion. Some people say, damn, you fucking lost your mind, dude. And I'll say... I lost my mind, my mind of bullshit ego 3D blue pill earth realm, which is not real. You're just here to grow and enjoy the contrast. You're just seeing it wrong. You've been hardened by the negativity of the shadow projections from people that think they know it all and they don't. But we don't judge them. You see, you gotta look at things as growth experiences. You got to look at the people that fuck you up as good. This is opposite of what you've ever been taught, but it's the truth. When you lose 25 pounds in two weeks, your sleep patterns are fucking bizarre, right? Forgive me for cursing. You know it's passion. I'm just being real, man. It's not all sunshine and rainbows, and that's okay. I send love to it. Send love to the shadows. They don't stand a chance. See, you don't fight with a sword. You fight with love. You can't lose because God is love. If you become God, who's going to stop God? Who's going to stop God? If you become God, who's going to stop you? No one. You can't lose. Good always wins. Love always wins. Make it your mission, guys, all right? I know some of these points I'm repeating, but this is how I feel. This is where I'm at. I send love to you guys tonight. You know what? I'm going to send a prayer out. I've been receiving a lot of emails. I love the shit out of you guys, man. I love you guys. Everybody, you're all my family. We're one big soul family. We're all one in the illusion of separation. Let's get those shadows out. My prayer tonight is this. Let me tune in. I tell you what I'm hearing. Some people call it clairaudience, clairwhatever, I don't know the word. This is what I'm hearing. 
Archangel Metatron, Archangel Sandalphon, Archangel Michael's here. Metatron's cube. I send healing love. I break your shadows with love. I'm going to give your shadows a great big hug tonight. We're all going to melt it away. I'm going to go there mentally in the astral and I'm going to love your shadows out. I used to box the shadows. Now I love the shadows. You see, it took me a bit of an elevation to get to that point. Initiation will always rise you up to another level. Sometimes you got to smack them, sometimes you got to love them. Now it's about love. So let's love those shadows out. Listen, you think shadows want to be loved? They don't want to be loved. They want to fight. They want you to go down. They're going to beat you into a fight. Don't go to that level. Stay love. That's badass. True badass. Archangel Michael with a flaming sword. With the wings. All right. Fight with love. That's real fire power. People see love as weak. That's not real love. That's Fugazi love. Real love defeats all. Metatron, let's move him out. I send you angels tonight. I send you fire tonight. Fire of love. Can't defeat me. You can't defeat the angels. Much love, family. I love you all. Thank you. I'm honored to be a light in the community and nothing but love. This is it. Peace out. I'll talk to you soon.